Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. I'm going to show you a few methods which you can actually do here right now in game guys because Epic Games just tweeted something which I'm going to show you definitely and afterwards also some fixes which you can do on your Windows PC just to make sure that Fortnite is going to be running again super smoothly and if you enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, I just want to mention real quick that Epic Games themselves tweeted out that especially since so many people are switching over to DirectX 12, but there are also some major issues, there's a new method on how to fix actually like FPS drops and crashes on DirectX 12, so I thought I'm just gonna mention it here right now straight up in the beginning of the video. So therefore what you guys actually want to do is open up your Fortnite settings themselves and then once we hit in the graphics settings, we should somewhere find here actually the RTX section. And you can see ray tracing for me is off guys. I personally never used it because I just prefer having more FPS overall in general. But what they actually said is that you should actually turn it on then afterwards restart your game and then come back here to the settings themselves go again here into your Fortnite settings and make sure that it's turned off and what this does pretty much is it fixes your game user settings since Fortnite themselves messed up a little bit if you were playing on DirectX 12 before the new season um, it somehow got like overwritten in your game user settings that some of these like modes are actually enabled and therefore Fortnite is not working properly because it thinks that ray tracing is turned off but some of these modes here are actually being able in the background so therefore yeah you have to turn it on and and then turn it off and afterwards your FPS drops or your game crashes should stop if you are utilizing actually DirectX 12 guys so therefore it's super super easy and I hope this helped you and let's continue with all the other steps. And yeah guys one of the first things which we actually want to do in order if our Fortnite is crashing consistently is cleaning our shader cache guys and that is super super easy pretty much what you guys got to do is hit your windows key on your keyboard and go into this like little um, search icon thing here you know like the search bar and just simply type in clean until you find actually disk cleanup. And in there you're gonna select the drive where your Fortnite actually is on, so for me it's gonna be C here, so I'm just gonna leave it on there, it's automatically on C for most people. And then you're gonna click here onto OK, and you will see that it's first of all gonna scan like your whole hard drive, and then we have this new window here. And in there we have now, I don't know, downloaded programs, temporary intent files, DirectX Trader Cache, and in here now we have Microsoft Defender Antivirus, downloaded programs, temporary intent files, but also DirectX Trader Cache guys. And trust me, for so many people, this is actually the main reason why the game is crashing. So therefore just make sure that that one is actually enabled, and yeah, for the rest you can just decide for yourself, and then click onto OK. And it will ask you, are you sure that you want to permanently delete these files? We're gonna click onto delete files, and it's gonna take like maybe only like a few seconds, maybe a few minutes, maybe even longer, really depending how fast your main drive is. For me, it's M.2 SSD, so therefore it's quite fast. It shouldn't take too long. And you can straight up also like read what's happening there. And once it's done, it's just gonna disappear. And this pretty much resets your shader cache um, off your GPU. And yeah, if you want like some more information on that, just simply type it into Google shader cache. You can read it for yourself. It's pretty much like temporary data created from your GPU. And sometimes they have some issues. So therefore just cleaning it over the time can actually already help you there. And with that said, we're pretty much done here. And yeah guys, in this next step, I'm going to show you another method how to prevent Fortnite from crashing. And what you gotta do in the first place is open up our file explorer. Once we're in here, we're gonna go to our local disk, which is for me, see here, or just simply where you have your Fortnite installed as well. Then we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we find program files. Then we're gonna look for Epic Games. Then we see Fortnite. Then actually in here, we're gonna click onto Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and then we're gonna scroll down again until we find all the access which are somehow related to Fortnite. And what we're gonna do now is right click here under the first one, which is called Fortnite Client Windows 64 Shipping Exe, go into properties, and then under compatibility, we should see disable full screen optimization. And you're gonna make sure that this is enabled for each and every single exit, which is right here in this file. So therefore we're gonna go into the next one, properties, then we can see compatibility, disable full screen optimization. Then also here for this next one, compatibility, disable full screen optimization, and also for the launcher itself, guys. Um, you just simply have to enable for each and every single one of them. Um, sometimes if you put it for a launcher, it might not start. So therefore I actually didn't put it here in there because it's not necessarily, but you should just do it because it's better theoretically. But yeah, for some people it doesn't work straight up if you also put it for the launcher. So therefore just try it out here, but usually you should put it in there press OK and afterwards launch a Fortnite and actually try it out if it's still crashing. And yeah guys, in this next step we're going to talk about drivers because not always the latest driver is actually the best one. Like for some PCs, maybe like an older driver 
version works way more better and it's actually more stable. So therefore what you guys gotta do is maybe Google your exact GPU, you know, you can just simply go on Nvidia and they can like actually find it or you're just gonna look like in your device manager which GPU you have. And then you're gonna go into the internet actually itself guys and let's just say that like for RTX 3070 Ti, the driver 511.65 is actually the most stable one. You can just simply search up that driver and try it out. Just simply go on Google, you know, put in your GPU, maybe like best driver for 1060, for 1080, 2060, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna leave this one here as well in description guys, or just redirect you to my latest best driver video because this is still the best driver right now guys but sadly you can't utilize it on Windows 11 so therefore you have to go with the latest one but for everyone who is still on Windows 10 this is by far still the best driver and I'm gonna redirect you to my tutorial how to apply it guys and I'm also gonna put it in the description so just simply try it out for yourself you know like the newest driver isn't always the best one especially for like newer hardware and yeah there you can see it guys just simply get it from there or if you are on Windows 11 you have to simply go with the latest one and make sure that you're also super up to date you can see now you have the latest GeForce game ready drivers installed so I'm good to go but this is just like a small extra tip. Another tip I can give you guys is just simply to open up your Epic Games launcher and actually click here under these three dots on Fortnite and go onto options and once you're in here you want to make sure that only Fortnite Core and Battle Royale is actually installed not safety world and not high resolution textures. If you actually play safety world try to maybe uninstall it and see if it actually makes a difference guys for you and if we're going to talk here about additional languages also only put in the language which you actually utilize so therefore yeah i don't have like any extra on there guys and make sure especially that high resolution textures is turned off there's like a huge point which is causing so much stutter even if you have it disabled in your game itself then we're gonna click onto apply go again onto it and also click here onto verify game files guys this is only gonna take like a small amount of time and yeah, Epic Games is just making sure that your Fortnite is actually working 100%. You can see it here, guys. It goes super fast by. We're almost done here with the verification process. And trust me, it will find like any missing files or maybe like corrupted files, which could somehow cause stutter or even game crashes. And especially after a new season, doing this is actually gonna help you out so much. And I also wanna mention real quick here, guys, after a new Fortnite season, it actually could be also beneficial for you to completely remove Fortnite from your PC, you know? uninstall it completely and get a fresh new version not like an updated one or a fixed one here by the epic games launcher but like straight up a fresh copy and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have been so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace that shit too light.